So a convicted felon could be a navigator and could acquire sensitive personal information from an individual unbeknownst to them. Uh, that is possible. More troubling news about those Obamacare navigators. A new report out today from the House Oversight Committee showing navigators are not only giving customers wrong information, but even encouraging people to commit fraud to qualify for tax subsidies. That reminds us of the housing crisis where the government encouraged people to get mortgages that they couldn't afford. And, well, we know how that ended. Cato Institute's Director of Health Policies, Michael Cannon, says the health care mess once again proves more government means more problems. Michael, it's not just more government, but it feels like a government willing to turn to look the other way at these kind of misdeeds and misconduct. Well, there's always going to be more fraud in government programs than in the private sector because the government's spending the taxpayers' money. And no, so who cares? Nobody guards the taxpayers' money as carefully as they guard their own. But, and you can see that in the administration's attitudes. They decided that the navigators are not going to have to go through background checks. So in addition to all the security holes we've got in healthcare.gov, we have people who are collecting personal information, financial information about applicants. We don't know if those navigators are criminals or not. And uh, you can see it in how the administration decided to unilaterally decided to rewrite the law and delay the employer mandate and the employer reporting requirements in the law that are supposed to combat fraud. They're just suppo supposed to help us see right. whether the people who are claiming subsidies are actually eligible for them or not. I the Obama administration threw those out the window because they want to get people enrolled in, uh, in, in health insurance through the exchanges and hooked on those subsidies because that will protect the law. And if it happens to increase the burden on taxpayers, if there happens to be an explosion in fraud, well, from their perspective, that's a small price to pay. I, but, and also, here's the other thing, uh, and maybe this is why they waive so many requirements, but so many of the players, uh, the Navigator players, are, are from entities that we've heard from in the past that have shaky track records like ex-ACORN uh, sort of organizations or Planned Parenthood. So, you know, organizations and people with ulterior motives, do they get a chance to somehow uh, push those policies or those ideas as well? Well, that's why you have Republicans calling these uh, so, so many of the appropriations under Obamacare slush funds, because Democrats get to take this money and hand it out to their friends at these sorts of left-wing groups that are very interested in getting people hooked on government uh, subsidies, get, making them dependent on health care, on government for their health care, so that they will vote for more government and more government spending and higher taxes. I got to tell you, Michael, it's very, very alarming. These people, uh, I guess they come to your home. Uh, they sit down, they take your personal information, they learn about you, they get a chance to sort of sell you on whatever their ideology is. It's a pretty scary situation. Well, it's, it's very frightening, and it's going to happen, no, uh, but this threat to your personal uh, financial security is going to happen no matter how you enroll in an Obamacare exchange. If you go to a navigator and they help you out, you go to the website, uh, security uh, experts have found lots of potential uh, security problems with uh, the Obamacare websites, including mirror sites that, uh, that look like the Obamacare site and aren't, uh, and they then collect your social right. security number and other information so that they can rip you off. Be before I, mean, before I let you go, Mike, I just want to know, is there any, do you, have you heard of any plan to sort of instill some form of accountability in this, to, to sort of instill some safeguards in this? Because it's out of the bag now. Maybe we can protect ourselves before it's too late. The only plan I've heard of to protect consumers from Obamacare are the efforts to repeal it in Congress. The, the president is an interesting, interested in protecting taxpayers from rampant fraud in Obamacare. He, he's, he's only interested in getting more people enrolled and hooking them on those subsidies because, as Kathleen Sebelius said, once those people are receiving those subsidies, they're going to work with their member of Congress to protect those subsidies. Michael Cannon, Cato Institute. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Anytime.